guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Nikki Freeman. For those of y'all that don't know me, what's up? Um, if you're new, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and come join the YouTube family. I don't know what I want to call my YouTube family yet. Like, James Charles has sisters. Um, Christine Dominique has the, um, quad fam. <laughs> That's so cute. And, yeah, I don't really know what to call everybody yet. The last thing I ate, squad, so hot dog squad. Kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I have to think of something. You know what? Y'all say y'all say what we should, what I should call everybody too. Y'all comment what y'all should be called. That's what we should do. Okay. Enough of me drinking and talking. This is what we're gonna do today. I'm going to give you an an updated, in depth, um foundation routine now because I have changed some stuff up it's a little bit of the same products but I still love what I'm doing just tweaked it a little bit a, little, a few new products here and there um sorry my cat is going crazy um and I plan on doing a valentine's look with the brand new well it wouldn't be really brand new it's been out for a little bit not too long so I guess it would be still new I don't know but it's new to me because I just got it and excuse me I just burped anyway the James Charles X Morphe palette I have only messed with this once and I did a purple look with it um I have a cup like a cup sitting on it I just wiped it off though but I love it Anyway, I'm going to get into that, and I'm going to pretty much do a Valentine's look. And I have this white this white crystal glitter right here that I really want to use. And this is from the Color Workshop Glitter Powder. This is glitter powder. It's from Color Workshop. We'll get more into that when we get towards the eyes. But for right now, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am going to prime first with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is the mini one. Um, so I'm going to get a little scoop of that. Oh, and I got my nails done the other day. They're pink, which goes perfect for this video. I'm just going to get, yeah, it's not actually that much. I'm just going to move it around and like warm up, warm it up a little bit on my fingertips. There we go on my forehead. I really like to focus it on my T-zone, but then I'll put it out everywhere else. I like my entire face covered in primer because I don't like the feeling of unprimed skin. Like for me, I don't like it because I'm oily and I feel like when my face is unprimed. I, I feel like my makeup just falls off a whole lot easier. And just slides off and moves around. I'm going to get a little bit more than that. And this is very moisturizing. But like not in a bad way. Like not for my oily skin. It's actually pretty good. And it fills my pore. It like it makes me have a literal silk canvas. Like my face is so silky and so smooth. Uh, I love this. I've been using this for about two weeks now. I think two weeks. No, a little bit longer than that. Four weeks? Probably four weeks. About a month. And I am absolutely in love with it. The smell of this primer, the smell of all Tatcha products are amazing. I can rave about this all day long, but I'm not going to. Because this video is not dedicated to just the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. But I will. I do want to do the video where I do Silk Canvas on one side and then the e.l.f. Silk Canvas dupe on the other. I want to do that so bad. I saw Jeffree Star do it, but I also like want to try, like, is it a serious dupe? 
I know it doesn't smell the same. I just need like the smell of this in a perfume and I will wear that constantly. Just do it. Okay. So I got this. It is the uh, Makeup Revolution um, Jelly Highlighter in Monumental. This is an absolute beautiful color and it's it's not like the first Sally. It doesn't like spill out, but it does move a little bit. It's more of a sturdy jelly. But like I don't want to like just dip my finger in. But yeah, it's really good. Um I'm going to take like a little uh spatula and I'm just gonna dip like just a little bit out of this and y'all are gonna see why I'm doing this so early. Okay, so see I just pull out just a little bit of it and I'm going to put it down on my little mixing table. Okay, and now I'm going to take my foundation, which is the Super Safe Full Coverage um, by Maybelline, and my shade is in 120 Classic Ivory. I actually might be going down a shade soon, because my tan is, like, disappearing quickly from the summer. Like, all of a sudden, I've just been getting really, really light. And I'm just going to mix both of these things together. I'm going to mix that jelly highlighter into my foundation. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it gives me such a beautiful finish. Like, lately I've been wanting, like, a dewy look. But I still want my makeup to be matte because I have oily skin. So, I was wondering how could I do that but still have matte foundation spatula with a little bit of that product and I'm going to start putting it all over my face our little glowy makeup mixture here I mean and it's still very full coverage it like did not mess with any of the full coverageness at all like I thought this would like I don't know, mess with the consistency or something a little bit, and I was like, great, it's gonna suck, but actually, it doesn't. It To me, it makes it, I don't know, it just makes it better for me, I guess, because like I've been wanting to look like I have actual good skin, like hydrated skin without being super oily. And for that, I need a matte foundation. Or I would prefer a matte foundation. I guess I wouldn't really need it. I would just prefer it. But this, mixing the jelly highlighter with it, just, to me, it's exactly what I needed and what I wanted. And I've been doing my foundation like this for at least a week now. A week now, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm going to start buffing out my face. Alrighty, now that our foundation is buffed out and gorgeous, my skin looks amazing. That this is exactly what I wanted. Like, this is how I want to look all the time. Perfect. That's what I want. And I am going to use the Instant Age Rewind um, Dark Circle Eraser from Maybelline. I'm going to Okay, a little bit much came out, but we can deal with it. Just gonna start blending that out. Alrighty, now after beating all that concealer in, um, before we set our face, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple, and I'm going to dot the perimeter of my face I'm 
now I am going to go in with the Cody Airspun Powder. So I'm just going to get it everywhere. And this is in Naturally Neutral, not the translucent one. And we're just going to go right under our eyes and where we put our really, really light concealer at. Make sure there is no creasing. I am going to use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. And this is in 3.5. I'm just going to brush my brow hairs up. Alrighty, now that we have brows on, I look a little scary because it's just, it's just brows and nothing else. So, let's go ahead and Slice this face up and make us look presentable. In the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 15 Light, I'm going to put this everywhere all over my face, even where I put the Cody Airspun, just to melt it all together. Now we are going to start with our contour. And we are going to go in, like normal, to the LA Colors I Heart Makeup Contour Palette. And the, this one doesn't really have a shade. I don't know, but I see one that's darker than this one all the time. And I am going to take this brush right here, and I'm going to go in to this shade right here, here, and this one. I'm just going to... Find it and blend it out. We're going to go in to the Physician Formulas Butter Bronzer and bronze up the face even more. I'm going to take this fluffy brush. This is a Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush. And I am going to take... Let me put the names right there so I can see. I'm going to take shade Pinkity Drinkity. And I'm going to put this down. I have all of this shade that I want. Alrighty, now I am going to go in to... And this is the Luxie 213 Eye Shading. I'm going to take shade Skip. That is very pink. Alright, and I'm going to put this right into the crease. Take um, the Luxie Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm going to blend this out go into single which is the lighter purple shade and I'm going to go right into the outer corner of my crease with it slowly building up where I'm not putting a lot on the brush because I don't want a whole lot of pigment just yet. Just enough to deepen it up. Okay, now I'm going to slowly start taking that into the inner corner. To the inner crease and now I'm going to take that tapered blending brush I'm going to do pinkity drinkity and a little tap of 
skip and I'm going to go and blend out single. Okay, now I'm going to start on the bottom corner. I'm going to take Pinkity Drinkity on the uh, tapered blending brush by Lexi, the 229, and I'm going to first start at the outer corner and I'm going to slowly start blending it in with the outer corner of the top. And I'm going to start dragging it in. Now I am going to take the Lexi 213 eyeshading brush and I'm going to go straight into Skip, smoke it out. Okay, now we are going to take the blending brush and blend it. To go in to single, yes, I'm going to go into single with a uh, Lexi 221 flat definer. And I'm going to take that right along my lash line. to give depth to my lashes. It does look really, really pink right now, so I'm just going to take more purple into it. I'm going to take single on the Luxie 213 T brush, and I'm going to pack that on the outer corner of my lid. I'm going to go back in to the Luxie 221 flat definer and I'm going to take single and I'm going to just on the outer edge of it bring down single just a little bit on the outer corner. I'm just going to start blending it all together. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Escape which is the darker purple and I'm going to place that very very gently onto the outer portion of my lid as well and blend that out. Take the Luxie 213T brush and just smoke out what's left of the dark purple. Now I think it is time for us to cut the crease. Now, as I'm looking into here, I don't really see a shimmery pink. I mean, there's shade literally, but I it's more peachy. So I'm thinking about going in to the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette and going into Lolly. This is still kind of peachy, but it's okay. Oh. I am going to take the Luxie 213 brush. I'm going to go in to Escape and Single and go back in.
Alrighty, I think since the eyes are so much, we're going to go with like a glossy lip to take the Milani Color State Lip Liner in 09 Spice. And we're going to line our lips. Okay, now we are going to go into Hard Candy Plumping Serum Lip Gloss in Sunkiss. This is one of my favorite ever. Like, I love this. We're going to go into the Anastasia Blush uh, Trio in Pool Party, and we're going to go into Cash and in Blank. Which is right here in a little bit of that one. A little bit of it. And the Luminosa blush is from Milani Cosmetics. And I'm using it for the shimmer to like mix in my highlight with my blush. And it has a little bit more of a peachy look. And now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild highlighting brush and I want to go into let's see. Let's go into Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighter. I'm going to spray my highlighting brush. Uh, and this shade is Precious Petals. We're gonna go into that a little bit. We're gonna dip into the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit in Wish. Just a little bit. And then, whoo, she is a blinding girl. It's very cute. I love this mixture. Oh. I love highlight. Highlight has to be my favorite part of all makeup. Tutorial. Oh my gosh, we are finally here. I love this eye look. I absolutely love it. So beautiful. Um, I enjoy this so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so make sure... Um, that you like this video and give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, the secret emoji for this week is a pink heart. Like a pink heart or the heart that has the arrow going through it. Those. Okay. And here's what the secret emoji is for. The secret emoji for the secret emoji is for um, video shout outs. I'm going to start video shout outs and they're super, super exciting. Um, I'm going to have to actually look who this week is. I totally forgot who it was, um, but I will be putting their Instagram right here. It's not Twitter or anything, so it's not like James Charles, but I got the idea from him. But I'm going to do their Instagram. Um, and it's just, it's so nice to be able to get to, like, show. I know I'm not big. I'm not a big influencer. But, like, being able to show the little bit of y'all that are here, that there are other people out there too. It's just a big support thing that I'm trying to do. Um, not just for myself, but to support other makeup artists as well. Um, anyway, I will insert who won um, up here and I will have their Instagram in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. Um, anyway, remember, secret emoji is the heart with the arrow going through it or a pink heart. Okay. Um, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Please like this video. Go check out my Instagram for all the details if you missed something in this video or I did not say it. I hope that I said everything, but just in case, go check out my Instagram. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And um, if you do recreate this, please tag me. And I had a lot of fun doing this. And I'll just see you all next time. Bye.